Hi guys, it's me, Danielle, Danny Buttons, and I am back again with my National Scrapbook Day share. It was an awesome day. I actually finished eight layouts and six cards, which is shocking. I never, ever, ever do cards. Uh, I've probably made six cards in the past, like, three years, and I made six today. So, all of these were for challenges or my layout a day. And I'm going to show them to you now. I started scrapping last night at midnight, and it is now 2 in the morning. And I'm just stopping now. Right after I finish this video, I'm going to set it to upload, and then go to sleep while it's processing. Um, yes. So here we go. I did, all of my challenges were from scrapbook.com, and I entered 2 of two piece challenges. I was a little disappointed with two piece challenges this year, but I think everyone was, so I don't know what's going on there. So this was the first challenge. It was called Snail Mail. It was from scrapbook.com and you had to create six cards. Wow. This took me like over two hours to do. I'm a terrible card maker. I did all the bases of the cards the exact same way. I actually cheated and I don't know if you can tell, but I used like a pre made note card, they're blank inside, Ugh. but it was like a decorative note card that I just covered with 6x6 six six paper, so I just cut the sheet out and then from the leftover I put a strip on the bottom, put some glitter tape in the middle, and then did the little differences there. My original plan was I was going to use my paper smooches and lawn fawn stamps and make little animals on each one. But I'm a terrible, horrific stamper. I, like, that's not very good. They all came out really bad, and it was just getting me frustrated having to clean the stamps and not, the image is not working and things like that. So, she's the only one that made it, and I don't even like her that much. This one is my second least favorite. Uh, Happy Father's Day. I don't know. I wanted to make that one nicer. This I was going to give to my dad. Now I'm not sure. And then the other four I intended to be birthday cards. Uh, the two with the flowers are female birthday cards. And the ones with the stars are male birthday cards. They're not all that bad. I'll probably give them out. But I'm not a card maker by any means. As usual, layouts are in order of least favorite to favorite. So here we go. <sighs> this one I don't like at all. I really dislike this one. Uh, it's called Baking Assistant, and it is about the cupcakes I made. They're the uh, Cookie Monster cupcakes up in the corner. This was for the Scrapbook.com challenge, and it was like to use the sketch. So this is pretty similar to what the sketch looked like, but I, just, I don't know. I don't think my colors look good. I don't know what I was thinking. But the story's funny. Uh, my cousin invited me over and asked if I wanted to help her make cupcakes. But apparently help her means I would do the batter, pour the batter, take them out of the oven, frost them, and she would put the cookie and marshmallows on it. So I was like, oh, I'm so glad I could help you. At least she ate, she let me eat one though. So I did use more of my homemade enamel dots, so that was good. This next one is about my homemade enamel dots. It's called 11,000 Homemade Enamel Dots. And um, it is for the scrapbook.com challenge using a template. So this was like the Studio Calico Starburst template that I just painted in four different colors. And then I outlined each section. I thought it looked nice. And I took two pictures of my enamel dots. It's kind of a before and after shot. Uh, I did some tape, glitter tape. I think I use glitter tape on everything today. I really like the glitter tape. I'm a sparkly kind of girl. Uh, it says trend in a little My Mind's Eye sticker. And of course, I had to use some of the enamel dots. So it, the color goes next to the stripey. You get it. Okay. This next one is called Santa and Me, We Go Way Back, and this is actually for the load challenge for day four, and I'm also going to submit it to 2Ps for their 
scrap your style or whatever their challenge was called where basically this is a representation of my style right now because I've been doing very minimal embellishments um, and a lot of glitter tape especially at the top and bottom it's hard to see um, and using multiple fonts so I really I like how this one came out it's really cute this is me when I'm little let's look at it hey guys so Sam is snoring on the futon. I don't know if you can hear him. He's falling into and out of sleep right now. Okay, this one is called FYI, We Are the Fiercest, Most Awesome Laser Tag Champions. And this was for the scrapbook.com Use Four Fonts Challenge. I think it was called Title It. So I used four different fonts, three sets of thickers, and one of the target letters that I will always love. Um, and this is paper that I actually won from scrapbook.com last year, so there's that. And it was just, I thought it was funny because it's a zap zing pop. And when you do the little laser guns, it's like zing zing, get it? So that is a picture of me, Sam, and his nephew trying to look fierce with our little laser guns at his birthday party. I like that one. Well, this next one I submitted to two challenges. Um, I submitted it to scrapbook.com for their watercolor word challenge and two piece for their gold challenge. So I misted the background with the Heidi Swap. It's the Heidi Swap stencil, the heart ones, and it's Heidi Swap Gold Lame. And it's hard to tell because the, I don't know, I don't stencil that often with the sprays, so I feel like it kind of got under there, so some of the hearts don't look the best, but. Mm. And then obviously I wrote classics, which is not my favorite. I don't really like my handwriting that much, but, hmm. So I wrote Timeless Disney Classics. It's me and Sam and Mickey and Minnie, obviously. They're the, the classics of Disney. And I like this because they're in their classic outfits, too. And then I used my enamel dots and some punch Mickey heads and the glitter tape. So you can sense the theme. This one, okay, um, it's called Excellent, and you have to say it that way, it's important. But these are pictures from our egg dyeing this year. Uh, har, har, I've been saying um a lot again, sorry. This was for the scrapbook.com rainbow challenge, where you had to use one type of embellishments and make a rainbow. So I used washi tape, of course, and I made the rainbow, and took two pictures of my eggs. I got the dye from the dollar store this year and it was supposed to come with six colors and only came with those four and they were really bright primary colors they're usually pastel -y, so it was kind of funny but those are just the plain ones and then I drew faces on them honestly I didn't eat almost any of them so that was kind of terrible but they looked cute so there's that egg cylinder ha 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 Okay, this one is called Three Plates and One Messy Cup, and I used my Scraptastic kit from last month. Sam, stop snoring. And um, these are pictures. This was for the scrapbook.com Instagram challenge, where you had to use four square pictures. So these are pictures of us painting our plates. I went with my friends. And of course, Sam had to paint a cup because he loves cups, but whatever. Um, yes, I used the messy just because it was in the sticker book, and I was like, I'm never going to use this otherwise. And I asked Sam his permission, and he said it was okay if I called his cup messy. And it's hard to see because of the, the lighting, but there's a little paintbrush down there, too. So my plate I covered with turtles going to the beach. So my friend made Kirby. Here. And of course, uh, glitter tape at the top and bottom. Who'd have guessed? And this is my last one. This was actually not for a challenge. This was just for a load for day three. And I really do like how this one came out. I used the Heidi Swap um, favorite things and some holographic thickers. And yeah, this is my parents and me. I think this picture was taken in 1999 because my dad has had his goatee since 2000 
So no goatee to me means before 2000. This is more glitter washi tape. This is from Michaels. They have new ones. You should go look at them. They're magnificent. Um, and this obviously we weren't playing Uno, but I had a terrible problem that I wouldn't let anyone take pictures of me from about age 6 to 14. So I don't have many pictures from that time and any pictures I have I like and we didn't have many family pictures of the three of us and this is actually really funny because we had to do like the timer so we're laying on the ground and my mom would have to run to the timer and press it and run back and I think it came out pretty good and we're all pink from laughing but there's that one that is my last layout that was my crazy scrapbook national scrapbook day uh let me know what you guys did and how many layouts you got done and if you got to hang out with friends or things like that because i had a great day with my friend whitney and sam got to play video games by himself all day and nobody bothered him either so i think he had a good day too and yeah hopefully um you enjoyed my share and i will be back soon with more layouts from load thanks for watching